Hi, in this session I'll show you how to create a stock volume and price chart. And basically what I mean is you can have a chart that lists the volume of shares that are traded for a stock, in this case it's Google, and the closing price of that stock for that day. And so in essence this is really called a combination chart where you basically have two chart types plotted on one chart. So you have a line chart and you have a column chart. And I'll show you how to do that. Let me let me go ahead and copy this data. Let me go and select that and control shift down arrow to select that. Control C to pay, copy and then go into this other sheet and control V to paste. Let me go ahead and double click here to auto fit here. Auto fit the contents here. Now since I've pasted it and it's still selected, I can go ahead and when I insert a chart here, it will basically draw, oh, include the values into that chart. So let me go ahead and I'm going to insert a line chart first. So once I click on that and click the line with markers, it's going to chart it out here. So what I want to do is this, the red line is going to be a volume and I want to change that to the column chart. So I just have to select that and that is selected. I'm going to go ahead and go to change chart type here and turn it into a clustered column chart. So once you see that now you see it's drawn drawn correctly but I want to do is also bring so I want to have this data on a separate axis. So right now the axis is drawn with the volume information here on the left. There's going to be two axis, y axis, one for the volume and one for the price. I'm going to put the one for the volume over to a secondary axis. So what I need to do is just click on any of the bars here and right click it and go into format data series. And I want to go here where it says plot series on. I want to plot it on the secondary axis. Now you see it's brought it over here. Let me go ahead and close this. And now what has happened is it's pretty much drawn correctly now. So I have the closing price as a line chart and I have the volume as a bar chart and the volume is on this side and the closing price is on this side. Now you may notice that there's just some gaps here and what it does is Excel sees this x-axis as a date and it draws it out as a date, uh, as date parameters or, or date values. If we wanted to make this kind of equal distant to each other we would have to draw this out as text so I'll show you how to do that and you can just go ahead and click on the axis right click and go into format axis and down here where it says axis type we'll set it up as a date now when we do set up a as a date the gaps are equal distance from each other now and you can see that you know we have if I, if I increase the size of this chart a little bit you can see now the dates correspond to the table here one two three one two three six seven eight nine so the rest of it is basically some formatting now we can also add the chart title and we can call this and we click over here on the formula bar and call Google price volume chart May 2013 and press enter you can see now it's put it in there maybe we want to move the legend over the top we can do that and click here and show legend at top moves it over here we want to give some access descriptions here we can click on that. Well, actually, we don't need to click that. We can just do it here under the Layout tab, Axes, and we can do the well, actually the date, the um, axis titles. Excuse me, axis titles. We can put the primary vertical axis or the primary horizontal. Well, the primary vertical axis, which is this one. We can call that pre closing price. press enter and I can see it there and then this one would be the volume so this is the secondary vertical axis and we call that volume we can just type it in, in the formula bar up here volume so the rest of it is kind of just making it a little bit prettier and what we can do is we want to if we want to make this a black line without the markers we can just click on that right click go under format data series and the marker options, let's say none, marker fill, no fill, the line color, let's make that a black line. You can see now it's black. And you don't need to close this window to format the other chart. The other chart type, you can just click on the column chart and you can see now it's 
take the, now it's selected it and so maybe with the fill we wanted that to be blue like the other one let's see yeah so this this is this blue maybe give it a nice little 3d format the, we can take some of the default or the selections here I think I just wanted to do a little bit more customization maybe make the width uh, five point and then the height uh, two point and that will give it a little nice bevel shape click close here and we have our little bevel shape here the little 3d shape so this is a quick and easy way to make a price volume chart essentially it's a combination chart in Excel so I hope this helps thanks for watching if you want to see more videos from me click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and leave a comment below I like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.